Good afternoon, Patreon fam, and uh, happy holidays. Sorry I've been so slow on the posting. Um, with the holidays, it's been crazy around here. And uh, still repping my team, even though we uh, we lost to Alabama in a sad loss. But anyway, we won't talk about that. But I hope everybody's having a good holiday season. And uh, I did uh, get a new amp, which um, I'll, I'll post a picture of it. Um, I got a real 65 Deluxe Reverb. Um, it's got a, a Patriot in it. And... Uh, Man, it's really good. It's really killer. Super excited to own it. Um, and I got my old Telecaster here. Um, I'm going to show you a couple licks today that um, kind of, um, you know, I mean, he kind of goes on over, I don't know, underrated guy, I guess. He kind of goes overlooked sometimes, but I love him. Junior Brown, uh, if you guys don't know him, Texas guy, plays what's called a get steel. He's got a steel guitar on one side and a lap steel on the other. It sits in a stand like this and the guy's a monster, but he does all these kind of crazy pull-offs and, uh, you know, it's kind of cool, little flashy stuff. And uh, I want to show you one that works uh, works all over the fretboard. I, I end up using this a lot, uh, especially in songs like if you uh, take kind of a rockabilly groove, you know, where you got something like, like a white lightning kind of song. <laughs> kind of groove or whatever and you can use this little thing uh, this little pull-off thing he does it's so like if you go on to the uh, sixth fret on third string you press that then you're going to do a pull-off on the second string on the fifth fret and the uh, seventh fret and the eighth fret so you go so I'm, I'm alternating back and forth with the, the pick is only playing on the third string and the middle finger is only playing on the second so I'm going back to the third so I'm alternating back and forth. So, so we take that groove again. And that also you can you can kind of get away with it in several keys, like if you if you're in G. Because you're not really you know hammering on a note. Now it might not work well in like F or something, but if like maybe if you're in C. Because it's more of a kind of almost a ghost note because it blows by so fast. So that's a fun one. Now another one, I want to stay in that same kind of groove that I use. This is a Brian Setzer thing. Uh, uh, in that same groove. In the key of A. Um, I'll use this a lot of times too, another pull-off thing. I'll go from the uh, ninth fret down to the fifth on a, as a pull-off on the first string. Then I come to the second string on the seventh fret. So And then I come back to the first string on five. So I'm... And I do this all with a pick. So that works over the A. Then when I go to the D, I just go down a half step. Then when I go to the E, go down another step. So if you had again the one, four, five, you're here thinking in your head. So anyway, there's some kind of flash for you, some kind of fun stuff uh, to kick off the uh, holiday season. Man, you might even work those into your uh, crazy versions of some Christmas carols or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, thanks. Uh, have a good uh, holiday season.